Hello YouTube, James Palin here, doing a review on the DeSantis Gunhide Invader for the XD9 Mod 2. And if you remember, uh, I've if this review seems a little similar, it's because I did uh, a year or so ago, I did the model, the exact same model, except for the XDS. So, um, oh, also, I, I paid for this with my own money, this isn't... Uh, just like the last one these guys just haven't given me a penny or whatever i've talked to them I've, I've worked with them on some quality stuff in the past but besides that i'm just purely purely a consumer of you uh, same thing with springfield so uh, these are cleared just, just for everybody's so they don't have a panic attack so uh, we're going to start, because you guys are familiar with this one, we're going to go ahead and start with this one. Um, just, as, just as a little follow up. You'll see that goes in, no problem. Uh, I've, been wearing, I've been wearing this for over a year, something like that. Uh, forget is there, perfect. Replaced a, a Galco, that was good, but this is uh, 10 million times better. And there, there only really had to be one modification, which they were happy to do for me, which is uh, make a little bit of room for the chamber indicator, which the XDS has a gigantic chamber indicator. So, no harm, no foul. They, they said they weren't going to put it on everything, but whatever. I mean, not everybody likes to carry with around in the chamber, so blah, blah, blah. So fast forward what the video is actually about. I apologize. There, there's a reason for all this, though. <clears throat> so... Um, this is what I ran into. Sorry, trying to do this one-handed. It doesn't go in. Why doesn't it go in? You look, you look around. I spent about 10 minutes trying to figure this out. Why it doesn't go in? Because as you see it like that, no problem. So, <clears throat> there's a couple of quality issues with this. One thing, I've only worn, I, I've had this holster for probably about 24 hours and it has already um, the takedown lever this guy right here this takedown lever has yeah it's it's not damaged or anything just yeah I mean just to show you an example I have my XDS right here. The takedown lever is pretty much identical. In terms of, I mean, maybe just like slightly more. And, like, I don't know. <clears throat> like, it doesn't move. It doesn't budge. There's no way. There's no way I could have done that. Plus, I've only had this thing for about a month. But, oh, did it go in that time? It did. Wow. Well, that's been me working with it for a day. But you can see, had this holster for less than a day, and it's already just annihilated. Trying to... Hopefully, it's... You see... Now, it wasn't even that bad yesterday, or even this morning. That's just from today. And you can actually see in here, too. You can see the slide, or I'm sorry, the takedown lever has just been ripping this holster, a new one. And also, like, this fabric is different, so, um, if you go look at, there's, like, a little bit of a scuff there, but that's over a year's worth of wear. So, I don't know, so that, that to me is perfect. Like, I don't, I don't care, I could, I could wear this thing probably for another five years and not have an issue with it, but this thing, I've had this for 
about about 24 hours. Different material. I don't know what this plastic crap is, but as you can see, it's it's a completely different design because while the the prior one I had has the fabric that goes over, which allows it to slide right through. Uh, this is built the opposite. It's like it's built like inverse or something. This, and this is a, a very sharp edge. Uh, and it seems like what's happened is it's just ended up slicing right through so it can holster itself now. So that's the first thing. The second thing, sorry I'm spending so much time on all this stuff, I don't do a lot of these. You'll notice that they still refuse to put in a, a room for room for the chamber indicator up here on top. Now the good news is though, the chamber indicator here, and there, get it to focus, it's right, it's right here. You'll notice that it is very, 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 very small. So carrying with uh, around in the chamber, I've only had it snag like one time. But part of that is because I've tried holstering and unholstering this thing about a hundred times now, just to kind of see what it would be like. And I think part of the reason probably I haven't got the snag up there is because I can't get past that. So that's that's item number two. Item number three, you'll notice that these holsters, uh, also I, I did um, switch the position so it'll ride a little bit lower. It means the barrel kind of pokes into my leg, but uh, besides that it's actually very comfortable. Um, so I'm sort of listing the negatives, which I apologize, I should have listed the positives first, but I want to show you one more thing. These, these pistols, I know I keep hopping back and forth between pistols and, uh, and the holsters, but it's important because, because, yeah, but these pistols are nearly exactly the same size. That's, that's sort of the, kind of the beauty of these spring fills. I mean, they're almost identical. In fact, I was floored, to be honest, that that the XDS didn't fit. Um, but I think this must be just slightly thicker. I don't have calipers, but it doesn't fit. And it sure doesn't fit now after that's been edited for a day. But but these sizes are almost identical. So I just think this one is a tad bit wider because it's a double stack. Besides that, the dimensions are almost exact same. They're they're four inch, um, and you might be like, "Well, the the grip is longer." Yeah, but the the grip <laughs> doesn't actually change. It shouldn't change any of the dimensions because the, the the grips don't don't go in there, obviously. <sighs> so uh, there's no reason why this has to be huge. It's this is is gigantic comparatively speaking this this comes out way more which is going to jab into you this comes out way more i'm trying to keep them lined up but it's hard but it's is literally bigger in every way which means it doesn't fit the same like it's, I don't know, maybe it's like if it's a perspective issue or not, but th there's there's at least an inch and a half here, quarter to a half an inch on each side, and <laughs> at least another half, a quarter to a half an inch on the bottom. So those are those are kind of the the initial things. Um, some positives. <clears throat> uh, fits great. It doesn't move. Once you successfully, okay. <laughs> well, it's starting to go in there now, but I think only that's because it's 
sufficiently destroyed <laughs> the material that was in the way. Um, it doesn't move. This is not going anywhere. In fact, it's probably even more snug than my XDS one was. <clears throat> Can you tell I'm good at doing this one-handed? They're, they're actually neither one of them. I know. I know. One hand. Both hands on the keyboard. All right. Um, so they're both not going anywhere. They're both built like a freight train. Except for that plastic piece of crap. I don't know. I don't even know why you need that. Like, <clears throat> this model doesn't even have it. I don't. I don't know. Um, it, fit, it fit on my belt perfect. The adjustments work just fine. I could fit it wherever I need them. You can tell it's already curving. At least come flat. But you can tell it curve. It's curved to my body just fine. Um, the barrel does poke. The barrel and the slide do poke out a tiny bit. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Okay. So we'll get all the way. It's, it keeps. What is that? Okay. No. Oh. Still tight. Alright. So it's, it's about the same. Um, but. This is, I don't know, it's maybe 20% bigger than it needs to be in the plastic at the bottom. But other than that, if it wasn't for this plastic insert and the fact that it's a little bigger than it needs to be, um, I'm actually really satisfied with the holster. Um, I bought it directly from DeSantis' website, so I don't have the price right off the top of my head. And... This ended up being a little bit of a gun review, also. But it's important, because every single gun, I, I marry them with the holster. So, anyway... I hate to ramble. <clears throat> uh, I give this one, after they did the modifications, like a 10 out of 10. I give this about... If... <laughs> if, if this actually... Let's see... See, now that I'm recording, it's not going to catch. This is my second take. It caught a bunch on the first one. But I think what happened was... It just finally... <clears throat> Sorry, I heard about the focusing in the shadows and stuff. I, I think it finally just... Destroyed itself. <clears throat> Enough. I'm just looking at it. I'm just in awe. I think it destroyed itself enough to where it slides in there now. And I guess my question is, like, if you try this stuff, like at the shop, I mean, wouldn't you know? Unless this, uh, get to focus. Unless this, uh, takedown lever is out of tolerance, but it, <laughs> it pokes out a little bit. But it it can't go in that much more, otherwise it's not gonna be able to flip up properly for to to do a takedown. <sighs> anyway. I digress. Not a gun video. A holster video. Um yeah. So anyway. Kinda take that for, for what you will. I'm gonna reach out to DeSantis like I did last time. I didn't wanna have to, but uh, looks like I'm gonna have to. And, um, <laughs> so this has been the DeSantis Gun Hide Invader, right, for the XD, XD9 Mod 2.